If you're serious about building a brand, it's, it's a year by year. Billion dollar businesses actually have been built already on the back of just social media. We're over here at Hustle and Grind 2019, the automotive conference for automotive professionals that want to build more, be more, do more. We're about to hop over to the round table sessions where I'm going to be sitting with 20 or 30 guys uh, and going off for about 20 minutes on social media marketing, how they can build their brand, grow their business, get more customers, build their social media presence and ultimately make more money. So I'm going to hop over to that now. We're going to have some clips of the different conversations, the lessons, the things I was teaching. So let's check it out. Enjoy. You want to make more money? Yeah. yeah. Today we're gonna to cover some fun stuff. So I'm gonna keep it basic. I wanna have you guys get the opportunity to discuss stuff. So I'm gonna throw things out there. We're gonna go over the secret content formula. Okay, so this is the basic understanding of, like you ever have that moment where you go, what should we be posting on social media? Like I'm trying to post stuff, it's not working, no one responds, should I post my car? Should I post my customer? Should, what do I actually post? Well. There's a really simple formula that breaks it down to two categories. We're going to cover that. The other thing we're going to do is a simple paid advertising strategy. So I'm going to go through what we do. So I own a social media marketing agency. We work with top brands, including OEMs like Honda Canada, Suzuki Canada, uh, some of the big guys, hundreds, thousands of dealerships. Um, we also work with other brands, not just automotive. But I'm going to teach you what we do with them that can also be applied to a lot of small businesses that we work with, which is a very simple way to think about Facebook ads. It's not complicated. It's not crazy algorithms. And if you guys ever want to try advertising, you can use this method. Then I'm going to cover how to use Instagram and Facebook DM the way I use it. Again, very, very simple, not just about outreach, but there's simple things that no one's doing that really up your sales. So we're gonna go over that. So we're gonna cover all three of those. I'm gonna start with the secret content formula. You guys ready? Yep. Yes. Okay. What's the biggest problem? When you go to post content on social media, what do you guys post? I wanna see some answers. What do you think is the right Delivery thing to be posting? Photos. Delivery photos, what else? Customer testimony videos. Yeah, what else? Family yes. pictures. Yeah, what would you say? Everything. Everything, hopefully not naked pictures. <laughs> <laughs> those, those are private. What else, anything else? Okay, how do you guys decide what to post? Is there any logic there? Like anyone have a theory or like why, why do you post? Don't post business every day, like don't do delivery. Okay. Every day. People get sick of looking at it. Okay, what else, what else have we heard? What other myths have we heard? Offers, 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 offers. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with GC. What else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we watch GC, what he does is he always making offers, sort of. But how much do you see about entertainment? How much behind the scenes? How much with his wife? How much him having fun? How much him? So here, right. So let me ask you this: What shows are most successful on TV? We see these either. Vi Right, so the show, it's either massive education or information, like Shark Tank, like it's fun, you're learning, or it's drama, it's entertainment, it's the Kardashians. Right. I don't watch the show, but a lot of people watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians, right? right? Why? Here's what I'm eating, here's who I'm mad at, here's what my mom did, here's what my sister did, and people tune into that shit because naturally we're wired for two things, entertainment or education. So I want you guys to ask yourself, next time you're gonna post something, ask yourself, when you go on social media, what are you there for? There's two reasons. All you gotta do is this. Ask yourself, when you go on social media, what are you going for? Are you looking for promotion? Are you looking for a deal? You're on the toilet, you're on the car, you're, you're like in a socially awkward situation, you're opening your phone, it's like, how can I kill a minute? There's only two reasons you go to social media. Everybody does this. Entertainment or education. You want a quick laugh, you want a funny meme, you want to, or you want to learn something. You see something very valuable, you're like, oh shit, that's cool, I'm gonna try that. That's the only two reasons. But for some reason, most people make content, don't think about that. They're doing promotion, they're doing what do they want to see, what do they like, what makes them look good, but no one else is going there to see that. So you're putting out content that no one cares about and that's why the engagement's not there. Does that make sense? So what are some examples of that? I mean, entertainment is make them laugh, make them cry, make them feel something. Think of a TV show, think of the Kardashians, right? Keeping up with the Kardashians. Why do so many people used to watch that show? It's just literally, my sister did this, my uncle did this, I'm so mad at this person, he was with my brother. It, it's bullshit, but it's entertainment, right? So you gotta think, how do you tell stories? How do you get people to laugh? How do you get people to cry? Don't just, for example, if you're gonna do a delivery, don't just say, here's John, he bought a second car with me, so happy to have him as a customer, thanks so much, John. Tell the story, who's John? You know, was he in Vietnam? Did he come here off a four hour road trip? Like, what's with his family? What's with his wife? Is his, is his father the president? Like, give the story behind John and what got him here and where he came from. The more drama, the better, right? Like, John just uh, left his sixth wife and he's got some money in the bank and he's trying to get a new Corvette and I'm gonna get him on the road, pick up a seventh. Like, make it fun, make it real. That's how you gotta approach it. And education, 
the way you approach education is people only really care about three things. They only want to learn three things and it's called kind of like hard knowledge, which is either how to make more money, right? How to look better or feel better or how to have more sex. Swear to God, that's the three easiest things that everyone wants to buy. So when you're teaching, think of that. Do they want to know, like if you're going to teach a certain feature of a car or a benefit or something you want to show them how to do, think about is it going to save them money, is it going to make them look better, or does it let them have more sex? If someone made a joke last time about a minivan, like how many girls can they fit in the back, like you know what I'm saying? Stupid joke, but don't do that one, but I'm saying make, get creative with it, right? Get creative with it. So what can they do? If it's, if it's value, this is a feature that, that we can do. Here's how much money it's gonna save you. I'm gonna show you something that you're gonna save five grand next year by doing these three things. Here's what they are, right? So hard value, hard knowledge. That's the truth. For men or women, it's money, health, or sex, right? And if you look at the three biggest industries, what are they? That's the three. So bring that into your social media marketing, right? How many of you are using Facebook or Instagram ads right now? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, Instagram ads, okay, five, six, good. That's a pretty good ratio. How are you doing it? Are you boosting your posts? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I think for the advertisers on Facebook. So you're boosting it? To get more. Yep. Usually, if I post a translation for a video, which ever got the most views, I usually boost that one. Yeah, okay, okay. What about you? Just boosting? Keep rotating? Okay, got it. No? Okay. Anybody else I miss? I do like uh, like <laughs> generation and um, engagement sometimes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So here's my theory. 90% of people, when they run ads, they go, I have an offer. I want to put it in front of a group of people. Yes, it's targeted. Yes, they're 40 year old males that like cats. Here, show them this car, right? That's called a cold audience. If they don't know you yet, or like you, or trust you, they're a cold audience. I, no matter what industry, never show offers to cold audiences. I only make offers to warm audiences. They need to know me first. We use a very particular strategy when we run advertising. I've done it in multiple industries, from national brand car brands, to local dealerships, to auto groups, and it works like this. Most people think of running an ad, basically getting the offer, the ad, and targeting the audience they want to see that ad, right? We don't. We run first what's called awareness ads. So think of these as video ads. They're three to five minutes long. If it's Instagram, it's gotta be 60 seconds. Uh, for Facebook, three to five minutes. It's pure value. It's either the entertainment or the education. We run those and optimize them for video views on Facebook. We get a view usually for one cent. One cent of view of a targeted local customer. Then what we do is we get, let's say 100,000 views in that content. It only costs us 900 bucks, 1,000 bucks in most cases. Then we retarget all those people with a low level offer. So what I did for dealerships a lot was we'd give people gift cards to something like Starbucks to come in and just do a test drive. So they put their name, their email, their number, and then the sales guy will call them and say, hey, when you wanna book your test drive, let's go, right? And we bring them in. That would be our lead offer. It's very low barrier. You're not asking for money. I'll give you money. Come in and do something for me. And then the last step, once we've done that, is then we get hard offers. So this is the actual sale in the car, or the deal we have running, or the promotion coming up. So at any one time, you have video ads up here that are building rapport, right? People are seeing your brand, your name, they're not being sold anything yet, but Facebook tracks that. So on the next level, when I hit them with a lead gen ad, like I said, like the gift card, I can say only show this to people that have seen 25 to 50% of the first video. Only show it to people that actually suck through and know who I am. And then I'm saying the last tier, here's an offer, only show this to people who opted in for leads, who gave us information already. So what you're doing is you're bringing your cost down, reaching only a warm audience, you're not getting 100 leads that don't respond, and you're spending half the cost. So anytime we've run this, the average has been we reach twice as many people, twice as many leads, twice as many sales, half the cost, half. So that means if you spend $1,000 and you got 1,000 leads, I'd spend 500 and get 2,000 leads. It's a big difference, right? And the, the quality is so much warmer because no one's seeing your offers until they know you, right? until they're ready, until they decide to stick through a whole video and you don't do one and then the other, they all happen at the same time. So constant customers are discovering you, watching the videos, they go to the bathroom, come back, oh, here's a lead gen out offer, they come to the dealership next day, they go back home, there's an offer and a deal. And it just happens in a circle. So easier said than done, we talk about it in the academy, which explain a bit, but that's a strategy we use. So take away from this, because that was a lot, advertise to warm traffic. I know that was very fast, but advertise to warm traffic whenever possible. This is a method of warming up traffic. You could also retarget people who 
for example, engage with you on Instagram, who have watched your videos on Facebook, who have been to your website, who have left comments, who like your page, whose friends like your page. Anytime you can, try to build custom audiences of people who already know you. Who's using social media direct messages? Facebook, Instagram, all that. You, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how are you guys using it right now? Tell me real quick. What do you do with it? I have an automated thing and I also have a chat. Okay, automation chat, is it working well? Yeah. Okay, good, what about you? Um, basically, if I see somebody messaging or leaving a comment or yep. I my goals, yep. just in my hey, what's up, man? Yep. Let me know if you need any help, you know? Yep. I learned that from you. That we had a talk on, on January 1st. So, so, and these guys are both massive fucking producers. And that's exactly what I'm gonna tell you. The easiest strategy you can do is every single time someone likes your post, comments, follows you, every single person, don't just ignore it and go, oh, I got 20 likes. Message every single person personally and tell them, hey, thanks so much for the like, I really appreciate the love. Hey, where are you from? Where are you coming from? Whatever, if they follow you, thank you so much for following me. I really appreciate it. I give you a follow back. What are you up to? When they respond to that, send an audio note, send a video note, get more personal. You don't wanna scare them away at the first touch, but once they, they make the decision to engage and start the conversation, it opens the door to say, hey, I'm comfortable, I'll watch your video, I'll listen to your audio note, right? Because so many people, there's, there's creepy ass people out there, right? Like pe pe if people get an unsuspected video, they're like, I'm not opening that shit, right? Yeah. Right? Especially the girls, man, they get harassed with this stuff. Like it's terrible, like my girlfriend all the time, like unread message, like friend request from someone in like Somalia, and you open it, it's a dick pic. Like, yeah. and now Instagram warns you of that. So don't start with that, start with text, it's safe. It brings the barrier down. And then when they decide they're comfortable, video and audio. Because that's where you're gonna build the bond, right? Cool? Any questions on that? Yeah, you're saying that video is just that one specific person, right? Sorry? One specific yeah. person for that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a... Wait, what do you mean? Like when you do, you're, you're engaging with them. You send them oh, that, that's for like the ad, yes. Right. I'm, so there's advertising before. I'm talking about one-offs. Right. One-offs. A message right to that person. That's for that one -off. Yeah, so like if you, if you like, reach hey, out and go... A random person, right? Well, so it, first you're starting with text, right. and let's say you say, hey, where, where are you from? What brought you my page? You're like, I really appreciate the love. And then go, hey, no problem, I'm from whatever, whatever. Then send them back a video or an audio. Hey, that's super cool, my mom's from there. I'm not gonna say make up rapport, but sometimes it helps if you have to, ethically. But if you can, if you can build a bond or rapport or something in video, they're like, holy shit, like this guy's my dude, right? And start the conversation. And then see if you can take it from there to a phone call or an appointment, get it off the platform as quick as possible and bring them in, whatever it is. Like, hey, I, I see you've had that car for the last seven years. I'm not trying to sell you nothing, but come in, we just got this. I know you're gonna like it, just drive it, man. Like we're talking, we're friends, come in, check it out. I'm not selling nothing. Just come in, let's hang out, let's show you, right? Bring them in. So you're, you're trying to go from like engagement to open a conversation, to build rapport and get them off the platform as quickly as possible, right?